hide, gotta hide, gotta hide! No, you fucking don't! Holy shit! Okay. Run! Running! Running! Run! Hello, fam. Namaste, and welcome back to Horror and Habaneros. We are jumping right into Season 2, Episode 2 of the Horror and Habaneros Outlast playthrough. I just recorded the first episode, but, you know, I was honestly having a really fun time playing Outlast, and I still have two Habanero segments left. They're kind of scrunching up on each other, but there's two there, I promise. And uh, I didn't want those go to go to waste, and I just kind of wanted to play some more Outlast with you guys. So we're going to jump right into it. So come with me, fam. It's going to be horrifying, it's going to be painful, and it's going to be fun. All right, you know what time it is. Habanero time. As always, I have a little bit of water with me just to help wash the peppers down because they are spicy as fuck. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, man, you don't get used to that. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. <laughs> Proclaim the gospel. Alright. So. What's that noise? In the last episode, we were exploring this asylum. We're a reporter. And right at the end, this big, creepy, fat thing came and threw us through that window. We landed down here. And then some sort of preacher motherfucker came up and and said that we are like an apostle or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I know it's weird. I know I don't like it. But we're here. And we're going to continue along our merry little path of joy. And it looks like the game has really opened up. And we have some options on where to go now. Man, you can't even loot bodies. What's that about? I don't trust you. I don't trust you. You look like you're gonna move. Alright. Let's start looking around. Let's see what there is to see. Hopefully, we don't get got. Because if I do get got, I have to eat another habanero. Oops. Nice. We found a battery. Which we need. Using this night vision drains our battery super quick. So we have to be really sparing with it. Very, very sparing with it. And that's nailed up. Can't get in there. Can't get in there. Security room, electric room, library, recreational hall, cafeteria, and chapel. Okay. Ah! Ah! No! How about you fucking don't? How about that option? It's less the guy, and more the noises that it makes in my ears that scared me. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. What's happening here? Suicide? I'm hoping it was suicide. Boy, there's, there's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Witness. Okay. You okay? You okay there, buddy? He's not looking too hot. Ooh. Another another arm in the old turlet. Oh, and a head. I think there's a face in there. Beautiful. Beautiful! Okay. Okay. What do we have in here? Storage room? Oh, human body parts. And a corpse. Why wouldn't there be a corpse? Seems perfectly normal to me. Hmm. Oh, that hobby is burning. It's a burning. Can I see in here? Ooh. Ooh. More batteries. Very. 
Fuck off. God, I hate all the background noises. They're so creepy. Man. Man, this game has creepy ambiance. Really. Really creepy ambiance. What is happening? Can we open the door? What's... Do I need to pull... Okay, there we go. It's a special door. It only moves one direction. Unlike most doors, which move in 360 degree motion. I know how doors work. Don't judge me. Security! Well. We should say hi. Needs a key. Okay. So, we'll remember this is here. For when we find the security door key. Is anyone home? Who's making all the noise? Who's making all the noise? I don't like it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hi. That looks uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Oh. Wait, is this the room I was just in with the dude doing the scorpion? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, that's not surprising. Okay, so I think we checked all of our options this way, except... This, maybe? No, that's locked as well. Why should we have to pay for this? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us for being sick. Push those people! We didn't choose this! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So that's a thing. Oh, you're twitching. We got a twitchy live boy over there. Hello? Can you hear me? Are you alright? Can you help me get back to my car? Please. Mm. What do we have here? That seems like something worth having, but, you know, don't check it for batteries or anything. Why would you want to do that? Hello, do any of you have batteries upon your desk that I could borrow for an indeterminate amount of time? I would certainly appreciate it. But I understand if you're not willing to share... Come on. No batteries in here? None. None. None batteries in all of this big bad room. None batteries. Really? Okay. Well, fine. Hello? Boy. Okay, let's turn that off. What is this? Oh. It's so blue and shiny. Why why you being noisy? Why you being being noisy, bub? It's almost as if I hear somebody walking around out there. Which is, you know, unsettling. Oh, oh, oh. What do we got? What do we got? Confidential. More reading. Uh, therapy status, morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm, unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule, diagnostics, spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation, MRI scans consistent with patient reported dreams, interview notes, Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations, uh, restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous... Size, extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with the failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead. Ooh. Ooh. Forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. 
Ooh, seems to have some boyhood experience with Tutara, Tutara lizards and their parental eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental trauma he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seemed to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation affiliated with therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Oof! Boy, doctors sure are wordy. Can't just type like a normal person so I can fucking read it easily. No, you gotta bust out the thesaurus! The thesaurus! Make it all difficult for me to fucking read. Not that I'm complaining. I was kind of, I was kind of complaining. Hello. Hello. Okay, we got a sleepy boy over there. Um, let's turn that off. Let's crouch. Let's turn that back on. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Should I go over to him? I don't know. I mean, on the one hand, it feels like a bad idea. But on the other hand, what if it gives me something? What if he has batteries? Hello, do you have batteries? Hi. How we doing? How we doing, friend? Oh, God. You know? I don't like this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Holy shit! Um... So, we... we good? We good? Should I, uh, get the fuck out? I'm gonna go. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, keep scratching your face. It'll help. Please let me by. Please, please, good sir. Do let me by. I'm just crawling on through here. Like a mouse in the house. Okay, okay, where was that door? I think we only have one option, and it's down here. Can I... Fix that? No. Can't fix the drippy drippies. Huh. They were locked here as well. Oh? Oh. Thought I could sneak back there for a moment. Okay. So we can't go down there. Which... Feels like I've explored every path at this point. Maybe I need to just go back and check doors? Hmm, shit. Or maybe there was something in that room over there with the guys that I missed, like a key. Ooh, I don't like that option. Hi, are we good? Oh, jeez. Okay. It's just, uh... Do you mind? You don't seem to mind. Are you even alive? Oh yeah, you're alive. You're not looking so hot either. Okay! So, we seem to be uh, pretty safe in here. Hi? Well, that one's all snuggled up like a bug in a rug. Okay, well, we, we seem to have found the way through. We can crouch under here. We got several door options. I'm guessing we're gonna be going that way, but... Hey, it never hurts to check, right? Never hurts to check. Okay. No such luck. I think I saw something over there. What's that? Oh. Oh. Picked up the key card. 
for security codes. Cool. All right, so with our fancy new key card, we can probably get to a lot of places, I would imagine. Not this one. Let's see if our friends will let us pass back through here. Hey guys, it's just me, your old pal Wolfgore. Just passing on through, don't mind me. Oh, you're handsome. You're just a handsome devil, aren't you? Hey, buddy. You do you. you just ah! <gasps> Fuck! Get off of me. You fucking asshole. You can't make me. I know I can't make you. Oh, motherfucker. My heart. My soul. Does that count as getting got? We have one more quarter of a habanero left. I think I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. You only live once, as they say. Oh! Oh, my face. Hello, my face. <laughs> okay, so. Can I climb up here? I don't know why that would make me feel more comfortable. Um, so we got the key card. I'm assuming this is important. Note, you can look behind by holding Q or E. Oh. Nice, you can peek around corners, that is good to know. Okay. We might be able to get in here though. Let me in. Let me in. Nice. All right, we are in the security room. This seems like good news. Boy, I would feel so much more comfortable if I could close that behind me, which I did. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, you're dead. Nothing... Nothing overly much going on around here. Ooh! Oh, you can hide in little locker places. Neato. You can't get loot out of them, though. I was kind of expecting to find batteries and such in there. Alright! Keyboard! Let's see what we can do with our newfound powers. Accessing security system. Oh my. Fuck off. New objective, restart the generator in the basement. Oh, fan frickin' tastic That's exactly what I wanted. Run! Oh my god! No! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Ah, get away from me! I can't fucking see where I'm trying to go! Help! Oh, oh he's so ugly! Uh, okay. Should have been quicker to hide. Hiding! Hiding! Just go away. Just go away.
Please go. Please go. I really should have been recording that. Oh my god! This game. This game. This game is terrifying and actually incredibly fun. I'm really enjoying it. Wow. Well, we have a big friend. We have a big friend that likes to throw us around, so that's a thing. Well, chaps, that's going to do it for episode two. That was exciting and heart pounding, and those habaneros were so fucking spicy. But I had a great time. I'm really, really enjoying Outlast. I think this is a fantastically well made game so far. Um, it's scary as fuck. The jump scares are like so, so spot on, like 10 out of 10. Never had such a good jump scare experience in my life through a game. I don't know. Movies, movies might be different. But, anyways, I love your guys' faces so much. Beardheart, thank you all for watching. Like the video, you know, do all the shenanigans that I tell you to do in the pre recorded outro video. Okay, bye bye! You ever seen guns like these? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, make sure you like the video to support the channel. Make sure you leave comments supporting the content creator and uh, telling, telling me how hot I am. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God damn, I'm disgustingly hot. Oh, yeah. And uh, did I forget anything? Oh, and uh, be sure to share on social media. We really like that over here at the uh, Wolf Door LLC. Thank you, fam. See you next time. Bye-bye.